Hi guys, how's everybody's week been? Another week at home? I know it's been a bit different for some of you because you've been starting back on some schoolwork at home or some kindy activities perhaps. I hope that you've been finding some interesting things to do with your family. Now, if you've tuned in the last couple of weeks, you will have met some of our pets. You will have met Blue, the goat. We have two goats, Ruby and Blue. And you've met our four chooks, Star and Sugar and Blackie and Ginger. And we have one more pet at our house. So I thought today I would introduce you to our last pet, okay? Now I'll give you a few clues and see if you can guess what you think this pet might be. So this pet is usually white, although they get a bit dirty from time to time. So sometimes they're more of a brownie, creamy color. They have four legs, two ears, two eyes, and their favorite food is grass. Now, can you guess what my pet might be? If you can't, I'm gonna give you one more clue and this clue will probably give it away. Okay, this pet has some long wool which can be shorn off and used to knit things and make clothes with. Does anybody know what this is? You might have guessed that it's a sheep. We have one sheep, she's Vienna's pet sheep and her name is Lollipop. So who would like to meet Lollipop? All right, let's go. All right, so if you look behind me, you might be able to see Lollipop. Now, I will try and call Lollipop over. Lollipop! Lollipop! She doesn't listen to me. She actually doesn't like me very much. I'll try again. Lollipop! No, really not interested. Now, Vienna is gonna try. And let's see whether Vienna has more luck Lollipop. than I do. You might need to go over to her, Vienna. She's actually normally in the paddock and she's not at the moment. She's come out onto the lawn. So it's a bit of a treat for her. So she's found some yummy things to eat. She's over by the Fijoa trees. Some of you might have Fijoas at your place. They're pretty tasty, hey? Well, Lollipop doesn't so much like the Fijoa fruit. She likes the Fijoa leaves. But look what happens when Vienna calls her. Let's say she's coming, I think. Okay, so this is Lollipop. <laughs> As you can see, Lollipop is not that keen on me, but she's quite happy with Vienna. Lollipop, you gonna come and see me? She's really not interested. But Vienna knows her. Vienna knows her really well because she was Vienna's lamb from the time that she was only a few days old. And ever since she was a few days old, Vienna has fed her, Vienna has looked after her and gives her treats, makes sure she has water and food to eat and really looks after her. I'm just the boring mum who has to come along and sometimes I have to do things that Lollipop doesn't like very much, like give her medicine so that she doesn't get worms or help to clip her, her um, wool so that it doesn't get all yucky, things like that. And so she's not very fond of me, but she loves Vienna very much. Watch what happens when I try and pat Lollipop. Lollipop, you gonna talk to me? Come. You're not sure, are you? No. Nope. Not interested, but if Vienna tries to pat her, she will let her. See? She's quite happy to let Vienna pat her because she knows her and she trusts her. And that's a really special relationship between an animal and a person when they trust them because animals don't trust people very easily. All right, so the Bible has quite a few things to say about sheep. You might have read some Bible stories that have sheep in them. And the Bible tells us that Jesus is like a good shepherd. A shepherd is somebody who looks after sheep. So I guess Vienna is a shepherd to Lollipop. And the Bible tells us about how we're like Jesus' sheep, which is a bit funny because we're not white and woolly and say bah. But we are like Jesus' sheep if we follow him just like the sheep follow the shepherd. 
So some verses in the Bible I'm going to read from John chapter 10 and starting in verse 2. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep and the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he has brought out all his sheep, he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow them, him sorry, because they know his voice. And down further in verse 14, it says, I am the good shepherd. And that's Jesus talking. Jesus was telling this story to some people who were listening. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just like Lollipop knows Vienna. They know me just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I give my life for the sheep. That's what Jesus did when he died on the cross because he loves us so much. And we talked a bit about that last week as well. So we can trust Jesus because we know that he loves us very much and that he wants to take very good care of us. And just like Vienna takes good care of Lollipop and makes sure that she's safe and happy and has enough food and enough water. And that's why Lollipop can trust Vienna to look after her. We can trust Jesus to take care of us. And that's a good thing because sometimes there's things that make us feel a little bit worried or scared and we're not sure about things. And it's good to know that Jesus has got everything under control. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's looking after us. And even though things might happen that might be a bit scary and that we might not like, he knows what he's doing and we can trust him just like a shepherd, just like sheep trust in the shepherd. We're going to teach you a song now, and it's probably one that you know, but you may not. And it's called He's Got the Whole World in His Hands because it reminds us that God knows what He's doing. He's looking after everything. He's in control and that we can trust Him. All right, let's give it a go. He's got the whole world in His hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. What about the little tiny babies? Does he care for them? He certainly does. Let's sing about that. He's got the little tiny babies. In his hands, he's got the little tiny babies. In his hands, he's got the little tiny babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. What about the mums and dads? Has he got them in his hands yes. too? He certainly does, so let's sing about that. He's got the mums and the dads. In his hands, he's got the mums and the dads. In his hands, he's got the mums and the dads. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. What about grandmas and granddads? And nanas and poppers? He's got all of them too. He's got the grandmas and the granddads. In his hands, he's got the grandmas and the granddads. In his hands, he's got the grandmas and the granddads. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Hands. And what about you kids? He's got all the children in his hands too. He really cares about you. He's got all the children in his hands. He's got all the children in his hands. He's got all the children in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Let's sing that once more. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Awesome, guys. Thank you for singing along with us. And I hope you did the actions too. Cool. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed meeting Lollipop and kind of sharing a little bit of your Sabbath with us for another week. Um, I hope you guys have a really awesome week, whatever you do this week. I hope you can remember that even if it's not such a good week, that we can always trust in God and know that just like a shepherd loves his sheep or her sheep and 
the Anna and Lollipops case, that Jesus loves us very, very much and that we can trust that he knows what he's doing, even if things aren't quite as we would like them. So thanks, guys. Have a really great week and hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Bye. Do you want to say bye, Zara? Yeah. Bye. Cool. See ya.